house got burned down, and then we got a new house. And how does it feel? I feel happy. Here at the Rosewood Mobile Home Park, this is an exciting day. It's one step closer for the campfire survivors moving in here towards finding permanent housing. This campfire survivor family is settling into their brand new temporary home, starting anew once again. It's hard to explain. It's just been so tough. Like, it's been very stressful. Jessica Swisher and Eric Busby lost their trailer on Honey Run Road in the campfire. Jessica and Eric are engaged. They hope to get married at the Honey Run Bridge until it got destroyed in the campfire. Put on a happy face and just push through it. And we've had a lot of obstacles thrown our way, but. Together, we've made it through it. Right here, this is the first set of four mobile home parks that FEMA has opened for campfire survivors. Right here at Rosewood, this can house up to 40 households. The family has searched for months for a permanent house. I actually found out on my birthday yesterday and I, I started crying. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a house. They say this is a relief to have in between the search. It's temporary, but it's, it's better than the small room. It gives the girls room to walk around rather than just sit in the small room. It's not permanent, but it's home sweet home for now. The lease for these trailers is expected to expire next year in July, but the state can extend the lease if there is a need for it. Reporting in Oroville, Laura Ang, Action News Now. FEMA representatives said they're collecting donations for the survivors at the Rosewood trailers. We'll have the address where you can do so on our website later tonight.